assalamu alaikum my dear class 10 students welcome to your tipusas class math class today my class about exercise 12.4 and the math number 16 and 17 so at first math number 16 a boat goes in favor of current 15 km per hour and goes 15 km again a boat rowing against the current 5 km per hour we have to find the speed of the boat and speed of the current so let assume speed of the boat x km per hour and speed of the current y kilometer per hour so according to the first condition in favor that's mean equal to 15 okay and second condition against the current 5 km per hour so now we have to add it equation 1 and equation 2 then we get 2x equal to 20 or x equal to 20 by 2 or 10 km per hour that's mean speed of the boat is 10 km per hour now putting the value of x in equation 1 putting the value of x in equation 1 we get okay look at here equation 1 here so if i put the value of x in equation 1 then it will be 10 or y equal to 15 minus 10 so the value of y is 5 km per hour thus the solve the math speed of the boat is 10 km per hour and five km per hour so we solve the math number 16 now We try to solve math number seventeen. Okay, now math number seventeen. So read the question carefully. A labor of garment serves on the basis of monthly salary. At the end of every year, she gets a fixed increment. Her monthly salary becomes taka four hundred fifty after four years and five thousand after eight years. So we have to find out the amount of salary and amount of increment we don't know what is his salary and what is his increment so suppose her initial salary let initial salary be x and initial increment be y so according to the first condition after she get 4500 taka after 4 years that's mean first condition salary plus increment equal to 4500 taka and second condition salary plus 8 years increment equal to 5000 taka now easily we get two equation equation 1 and equation 2 so if we subtract from 1 to 2 then minus 4y equal to 3 so equal to minus 500 therefore the value of y equal to minus 500 by minus 4 is equal to 125 So we get the value of y equal to 125. Now value of y, putting the value of y in equation one. Look at here. 
x plus 4 into 125 is equal to 4500 or x plus 500 is equal to 4500 or x equal to 4500 minus 500 is equal to 4000 so his salary is 4000 and increment is 125 this is the answer so easily we solve math number 16 and 17 now we have only two math two creative math math number 80 and 19 now we will try to solve math number 18 now question number 18 this is a creative math stem is x plus y equal to 10 and x y is equal to 0. The question number A show that the equation are consistent and how many solutions do they have. Look at here. Here answer number A the coefficient of x is 1 and a2 coefficient is 3. Here coefficient of b1 is 1 and coefficient of b2 is minus 2 which is not equal. That means these two equation is consistence and they have only unique solution so right here this is consistence okay hold on the consistence and they have unique solution this is the answer so now question number b so question number b solve the system of equation x y we can solve it by substitution method elimination method or cross multiplication method now here we apply the cross multiplication method see now applying cross multiplication method we know formula is b1 c2 minus b2 c1 c1 a2 minus c2 a1 a1 b2 minus a2 b1 easy method bc minus bc ca minus ca ab minus ab 1 2 2 1 1 2 2 1 1 2 2 1 i write here for your understanding bc minus bc ca minus ca ab minus ab 1 2 2 1 1 2 2 1 1 2 2 1 that's mean if i one to find the value of x i have to multiply this cross b1 c2 b2 c1 so b1 is 1 c2 is 0 that means is equal to 0 minus 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 that means 10 into 20 is equal to 20 clear now c1 a2 that means minus 30 and 0 so b0 is not value now a1 b2 that's mean minus 2 and minus 3 so the result is x by minus 20 y by minus 30 1 by minus 5 so the value of x equal to look at here 5 4 the 24 and value of y is equal to 5 6 the 30 6 so required solution x y equal to 4 6 this is the solve now we have to solve question number c okay now we have to solve this equation by graph method so from equation we get look at here the value of y equal to 10 minus x now apply 3 point for x and y look at here x y if i write here 2 then it will 8 if i write here 8 it will 2 if i write here 4 it will 6 so from equation 1 we get x y value is 8 2 2 8 and 6 4 in the same way from equation 2 we get Okay. 2y equal to 3x or 3x by 2 
Similarly, make three coordinate points for x, y. x, y. Look at here. If I write here 2, then it will 3. If I, instead of x, x is 2, then y is 3. If x is 4, y is 6. If f is 6, then y is 9. So, the value is x, y equal to 2, 3, 4, 6 and 6, 9. Now, apply these two values in the graph paper. Then, we get the coordinate and abscessa. Look at here. Imagine this is graph this is x axis and this is y axis. So, 8 to imagine this each one square unit 1, 2, 3, 4 like this 8 and 2. So, 8, 2 then 2, 8 then 6, 4. So, after that join the graph again putting the value of equation 2 apply the here then you will get one geometric figure which is like this and this is from 10 and this value is 6 so area this is 6 and this is 10 so area of triangle abc equal to half into base into height is equal to 30 square centimeter. So, area of the triangle is 30 square centimeter. In this way, we solve the question number 18. Now, we have only one more question, question number 19. So, inshallah, in my next class, I will solve this question.